Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja and in this segment we are going to discuss arctic amplification. What is arctic amplification? What causes it? The consequences of it other than that how is it related to rainfall pattern in India? That will also be discussed. So let us have a look on the different topics that we are going to cover under it. It's a comprehensive coverage dealing with preliminary facts as well as GS paper 1. So please pay attention to it. Now this article has been taken from the Hindu in which it is written the warming of Arctic Ocean and its impact on India. You must be thinking Arctic Ocean and Arctic and Greenland ice sheets are so far away from India and our monsoon is regulated by the southwest monsoon. How is it related? Very interestingly, there is a connection. We will discuss that as well. Moving on, first of all, let us talk about the details of the research. On August 11, a Finnish Meteorological Institute researcher report has been published by the name of the Communications Earth and Environment Journal. Here it is stated that Arctic is heating four times faster than the rest of the planet. Suppose the planet is heating at 4 degrees Celsius, this is a hypothetical situation, then Arctic region is four times higher, than me, that means 16 degrees Celsius. And it has also said that the warming is more concentrated in the Eurasian part of Arctic, specifically in the Barents and Kara Sea Belt, north of Norway, which is warming at an alarming rate that is seven times faster than the global average. Okay, this the report has stated. Other than that, it has talked about Greenland ice sheets, the melting of the Greenland ice sheets. Now, Greenland, as you see, it is in the northeast of Canada. And Greenland is basically a part as a continent. It is a part of North American continent. But if we talk about the geopolitical situation, it is a part of Europe. It is a part of the kingdom of Denmark. Okay. But it generally and it has got its autonomy since 2009. So it is working as an autonomous region. And Kodtab or Nuuk is the capital city of Greenland. Remember that. Moving ahead, let's talk about the structure of Greenland. Now, Greenlandic ice sheet, they hold the second largest amount of ice. The largest is Antarctica. Antarctica about 80% of which is ice covered. That means the situation of Greenland is such that 80% of it is ice covered. You must be thinking if it is covered in ice, no, must, no one must be living there. Yes, there are people uh, who have settled in Greenland ap approximately 5000 years back from Europe and North America. And although it is one of the least populated, least densely populated region, still people are living over there. It's the world's largest non-continent island located between Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. The coastline is rugged, it is also mountainous and for the most part it is barren. More than 11,000 feet certain areas are covered with ice for more than 11,000 feet uh, that is 3350 meters thick, countless Rocky islands ring the coastline, central to south and much like Norway, fjords are plentiful, fjords are also found over here. Many scientists believe that Greenland is actually made up of three large continents but they all have been covered and connected by glaciers because there are nearly 40 glaciers covering the Greenland landmass. Moving ahead, one of the least densely populated regions in the world, it is located on the mouth of the Nook Kangirlua on Greenland's southwestern coast of Nook. Okay. And it is, uh, if you are talking about Nook, Nook is the capital and the largest city of Greenland, which I have already showed you. Moving ahead. Now, we all know that global warming is pervasive in our world right now. And the most impact of it gets amplified in the polar regions, specifically the North Pole and the south pole north pole is the arctic region south pole is the antarctic region right 
and why does it happen this can happen due to various reasons but because of the sensitivity of these two polar region it is possible to see much more impact on these regions because whenever global warming occurs the glaciers tend to show the most impactful visibility right and global warming because of that what is happening specifically the global warming which has been exacerbated by anthropogenic forces that means the human forces they are happening see since pre-industrial times and pre-industrial times after the setting up of industries in the developed countries the rampant usage of such fossil fuels which caused global warming are now showing results the planet's average temperature has increased by 1.1 degree celsius and any change in the surface air temperature and the net radiation balance net radiation means what is being absorbed and what is being uh, radiated back through the help of albedo now these tend to produce larger changes in the north and south pole and this is called polar, polar amplification because arctic region or the north pole shows much larger amplification than the south pole that is why it is known as arctic amplification this is the preliminary fact now primary causes we can say how causes and consequences sometimes are interlinked it is a vicious cycle sometimes the symptom is the cause and the cause is the symptom so the ice albedo feedback ice albedo feedback albedo what is albedo it is the capacity of an area to emit the light back to the source supposedly this is a region and these are glaciers these are clouds so the radiation or the light from the sun is coming over here and it is getting reflected back because of the brightness of the surface now 90 percent of the albedo capacity on earth is through the ice or glacier regions okay so the ice albedo feedback lapse rate feedback lapse rate feedback means the difference in temperature specifically whenever we move from lower altitude to higher altitude the temperature tends to come down so lapse rate feedback water vapor feedback water vapor feedback is actually the receptivity of water vapors due to change in temperature whenever there will be a change in temperature water vapor will catch that change ocean heat transport as well now in arctic case global warming is resulting in diminished sea ice why because they are absorbing so much heat they are causing the glaciers to melt and sea level is rising it is become becoming colder and as the ice she, uh, sea ice melts the arctic ocean will be more capable of absorbing solar radiation because there will be lesser and lesser ice to show albedo effect and when that will happen more and more melting of the glaciers will occur lapse rate the lapse rate decreases with warming Sim again what will happen the lapse rate which i have already told you the increase the decrease in temperature with respect to rising altitude it decreases with warming and it is responsible for 40 percent and 15 percent of the polar amplification respectively 40 percent and 15 percent these are responsible for arctic amplification or polar amplification moving on if we discuss the previous studies it's important to know that there is a debate with respect to how much arctic amplification or polar amplification has increased because arctic was warming uh, according to one report the extent of arctic amplification first of all is debated arctic was warming twice the global rate prior to the beginning of the 21st century now ipcc came up with a report special report on the ocean and cryosphere in a changing climate in 2019 this report is based upon different scientific researchers um, when they publish their journals they combine their reports and under the aegis of ipcc brings out this report it says arctic surface air temperature has likely increased by more than double the global average over the last two decades so it hasn't given us an absolute number but it has said for sure that it's more than double all right and also in may 2021 the arctic monitoring and assessment program said that arctic has warmed three times quicker now there is a difference more than double three times and four times the chances of sea ice completely disappearing in summer is 10 times greater because of the heat if the planet is warmer by 2 degrees Celsius above the 
pre industrial levels of course this will happen and the average it also stated the report also stated that the average annual temperature in the region has increased by 3.1 degree celsius compared to the 1 degree celsius for the planet so we see that polar amplification is a cause for worry because it might lead to sea uh, sea level rise and that will deplete our coastal areas now another important fact is that we have to also understand that the recent studies they have shown arctic amplification saw steep changes and that was between 1986 and 1999 and the ratio reached 4.0 that means it is four times faster the heating uh, many studies are saying it is twice more than twice uh, absolute number three or absolute number four so we can comfortably say it is between two to four and still it can cause havoc now the greenland ice sheet it sh uh, saw a sharp spike in the rate and extent of melting rate was increased and first of all the time span was reduced in which the melting was taking place and more and more area was melting okay and that happened july 15 to 17 this year because of unusual summer temperatures a melt of 6 billion tons of ice sheet per day was reported for 3 days you see 18 billion if this is in one day then 18 billion tons in span of in a span of 3 days in 2019 this was the single biggest cause for the rise in the sea level about 1.5 meters so global warming you see and uh, because of the rise in temperatures we can be definite of the fact that sea level is rising because of glacier melt moving ahead we talk about another important consequences list the warming of the arctic ocean and the seas in the region leads to acidification of water apart from that changes in the salinity level can also take place as fresh water dilutes the salinity the biodiversity of that region also gets impacted and that includes marine species and also the dependent species the warming is also increasing the incidence of rainfall because of convection because of convection what is happening increase in rainfall is occurring and the availability and accessibility of lichens to the rain deers are getting lessened apart from that the arctic amplification is causing widespread starvation and death among the arctic fauna because as these many interrelated factors are changing there the biodiversity which is dependent on the marine ecosystem is also getting impacted that is of course going to happen now the permafrost another very important region is the th thick ice the permafrost which is said to be frosted since many billions of years so the permafrost in the arctic is thawing that means it is also melting and that is increasing the release of carbon and methane which are two very potent greenhouse gases so this will further increase global warming and it will become a cycle in which glaciers again will melt and it might also release it has already it might also release the long dormant bacteria and viruses which are preserved in the permafrost and that can lead to another sort of never seen before diseases like the anthrax anthrax occurred in siberia in 2016 which took the lives of thousands of reindeers this was the result of the thawing of the permafrost in the arctic arctic region moving on what is the impact on india let me tell you with the help of this particular diagram see whenever ice sheets will melt what will happen specifically we are talking about the barren scar kara sea region the north of russia and norway north of russia and, uh, norway and east of russia this region because of the melting of the ice it will get colder when it will get colder convection because of convection and because of upwelling of water convection will occur and upwelling of water whenever upwelling occurs the cold water from the bottom of the sea comes to the top and what will happen here we will see high pressure and we all know the way uh, the winds move from high pressure area to low pressure area from here the winds will move towards the northwestern region of europe so when that will occur a, an anti-cyclonic instance will develop so here the winds are going like this 
in the anticyclone direction okay so after that what will happen this particular cyclone will move towards the subtropical areas of asia and when that occurs that will probably happen in the months of august to october and it will cause heavy rainfall this is not what i have developed this entire structure but what reports have developed so changing arctic can have impact uh, can have an impact on the monsoon of the subcontinent indian subcontinent a study titled a possible relation between arctic sea and late season indian summer monsoon rainfall extremes was published in 2021 which is suggesting the similar pattern which i told you world meteorological organization's report in the state of global climate in 2021 said sea level along the indian coast is rising faster than the global average rate that is another problem apart from that one of the primary reasons for this rise is the meeting of ice uh, sea ice in the polar region special especially because of this region this instance which i told you will occur moving on let us talk about another important point now in 2014 india deployed in arc which is india's first moored underwater observatory in the kongsfjorden fjord in svalbard that is near norway so here is kongsfjorden here only we have our in dark in the year 2014 what does it want to do it wants to monitor the impact of the changes of arctic ocean on the process such as monsoon because india is heavily dependent on agriculture this was supposed to happen moving on to our question with respect to climate change discuss what happens in the arctic does not remain in the arctic in 250 words just wait a moment for those who have answered my last question correctly uh so that i can take your name so many of you have answered it correctly b was the correct answer shankar gigi visha medha akshi kaizen chirasmita saffrofail himanshu vikash kiran asaf ali atul sakshi satvik arpita arunima rishi sandeep abhay puja uh, songs forever and e archi adav sudarshan basil or basil Afiat, Gunjan, Euphoria, Kranti, S B R, Aditya, also Gracie, Sandeep, uh, Being Singham has answered it correctly. Guncha has answered it correctly. Manish, Anmol, Rishab, Kuldeep, Anuj, Rahul, Ria, Chandan, also um, Beauty. Priyanka, Simra, Simra, sorry, Sayan, Arokia. Apart from that, Akash, Abish, Abishek, Guru Prasad, Alok Deep, Nita, Pallavi, Sandeep, Abishek Raj, Stanam, Survivor, Bharat, and Maharishi, Parad, uh, Pradeep, also Prapti, Foodie Boy. Anais, Himanshu, Yash, Adarsh, Navneet, Janvi, uh, Sarfraz, Kushwant, Vashu, Arti, Surendra, Vishwanathan, also Arishmita, Sabha, Aditya, and Akash. You all have answered my last question correctly. So continue getting engaged with more topics that we are uh, coming up with. and we will ask you many other questions thank you so much for watching